I, I think there's a very clear contrast for North Carolinians when it comes to the governor choice between Dan Forrest and Roy Cooper. I, I don't want to keep you too long, but can you talk about some of those contrasts as far as what what does the Dan Forrest administration looks like in contrast to some of the things that Roy Cooper has done? Well, I think first and foremost, uh, I, I think I would uh, trust the people of North Carolina. I wouldn't take a heavy hand to government. Uh, people do want government to protect them in certain ways, but they don't want government to control their lives. And uh, that's what we see going on now across the country, but especially here in North Carolina. And so a heavy hand from the governor, I don't think, is what the people desire. I think people still love freedom. And I don't think it, the government, the governor, anybody should tell any business that they can't make a living, that they can't put food on their table, or uh, that they can't uh, you know, provide for their kids. I, I think that's pretty egregious. I think that's actually immoral to, to uh, make right. that stand. I think what people have seen is the inconsistencies in decisions, Mark, uh, you know, when uh, a big box retailer can open, but a small one can't. A, a brewery can open and a bar can't. Uh, an abortion clinic can open, but a church can't. These kind of things, people start to, like, scratch their head and go, wait a minute, this isn't science and data. Uh, this is subjectivity and personal preferences that's driving this. So a forest administration would use science, and we would use data. We'd be